So, the next thing I'm going to show you is the clone tool. The clone tool, you got it right here. Clone stamp tool, it's actually called. Or you can press S. This gave you a brush you can use. If I try to use it now, it uh, comes up with an error. Meaning that I have to choose a point where I want to clone from. So if I press Alt, I can choose a point on my texture, or my image, sorry, where I want to to uh, clone from. Uh, let me just give a sip of my coke. So, I want this to disappear, and it's kind of hard when there's all these uh, bricks uh, in this texture. So I think I'm gonna try to make it from, let's say here, and then you can actually see what is going to be uh, cloned. I think that was a bit too much. Let's try again. And you can see it doesn't really fit right now, but uh, this is all about tweaking. So, I'm not using a tablet right now, but it would be uh, nice. I got uh, shortcuts for making my bus smaller, just because it makes my life more easy. So you can see you can use this to make stuff disappear and make a nice uh, Right now it doesn't look that nice, um, but you can make it look very nice. Let me just you can pick you can uh, pick a stone up here and you can use it uh, in here just to uh, get a kind of different texture. And you can use like uh, this is this stone, so I can use this part to make it a bit better, and you won't notice when. Uh, when you got the texture in your scene, you won't notice these little details. So you can basically make all of these stones very nice and a uh, texture ready. Um, but if you want a wall where this texture should be tiled, you will need to make it fit on the edges too. And right now, if I put these two, two of these pictures together, it won't fit on the edges. So a neat little tool you can use is if you go to filter, other, you can use offset and this offsets your picture by a value you can choose. So you can basically um, make an offset and use the clone tool again to make a nice transition between the edges and then you can set this back to uh, the same value as before. I'm not gonna show that right now because it takes a lot of time to make a nice texture, especially if it's a wall like this. So, the next thing I'm gonna show you is, I can't really remember it, so I got notes. <laughs> I hope that's okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is adjustments. You got a lot of adjustments, the ones, the one, that I use the most is brightness, contrast, levels, and hue saturations. Sometimes I use invert also, but it's mostly um, on other occasions. So, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is hue saturation. This is a very nice option because in here you can change how the overall color should be. You can see this could be a natural texture as well. And you can also choose the saturation. If you want it a bit more gray, you can turn down the saturation. If you want crazy colors, you can turn it up. So I'm gonna go for this. And you can scroll up and down the light. Right now I'm just gonna press OK. But I want to show you one more 
thing in huge saturation you can also right now my picture is very black and white and if you try to change the color it won't it won't be that much so you can use colorize and that makes the whole picture much more uh, colored actually <laughs> and you can also turn up the saturation if you want a purple wall you can make that it's pretty cool so that's that tool the other tool I use is contrast brightness and this is uh, straightforward you can use you can turn up and down the brightness um, I'm gonna leave it like this you don't want too big of a blackness in uh, your textures this is a very nice tool also I mostly use it when I have to uh, edit photos but uh, this shows the levels of the contrast so you can basically turn it up and down very simple tools the next uh, step is to show you layers so if I make a new layer this is the background um, it's locked right now if you want to unlock it you can double click it press ok so I got this layer right now and let's say I wanted some shadows on the sides of this I'm just gonna do it really rough so this is my shadow and right now it's way too um, pronounced so if you go into uh, I don't know what this uh, thing is called but you can change your layer uh, how it should act and you can see this does something weird and you can just scroll through it and normally I just, I'm just gonna scroll through it and see if there's something I like right now my color is totally black so uh, this might, might be something soft light but normally um, there are some settings you will notice that is better than others and you kind of use that the most the most used setting for me is uh, multiply and I'm just gonna the opacity you can scroll that down so it doesn't so it's not that pronounced um, let's say that you want a picture let's quickly find a picture of an old lady old lady so yes we're gonna use this one copy image right this is uh, cool so I'm gonna leave it down here and um, so you want to see this image but you want to keep this texture you don't want to ruin the texture because maybe the the placement of the picture should be another place if you have a client he can complain and he wants the picture to be somewhere else or stuff like that so I'm going to show you how to make a mask I just click this icon add vector mask it's called apparently and you get this you can uh, select both of them and it basically acts like a normal picture but it's only black and white so the white part is what is shown and I can make let's say the picture should be this big I'll just select it by the selection tool and I'll go to the bucket tool I have a black color so I fill it out and you can see over here it gets a black spot and it makes a hole and I can actually move it around just to make it fit so let's say this is something like this that's pretty awesome Um, and that was actually the basic tools that I use uh, for making textures I use uh, them a lot to just change it in this tutorial I'm not gonna go into uh, the different brushes or how to use them because I want to save that for a painting tutorial or something else 
I'm not that good with painting, so I'm gonna try to make somebody else do it. Um, and hopefully it will turn out great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, you can uh, write me an email. But um, first, I forgot to uh, recap what we learned. And we learned about crop, how you can uh, cut your images so they fit. How you can quickly select your images and how you can actually scale the perspective of your texture so it gets flattened out. How you can clone parts of your image onto other parts. How you can offset your image so you can make it tile very nicely. How you can adjust the brightness, the colors and the levels on your image how you can make layers and use them and how you can make masks and I think that was actually a lot on such short time wow cool I don't I don't mind that the tutorials are very short I think that's a great thing um, anyway back to what I was saying before if you got any feedback some uh, tutorials you want me to do show you can just uh, send me an email and uh, be short and specific. I will uh, look into it and hopefully make a tutorial out of it if it's a cool subject. Have a nice Saturday. <laughs>